everybody, how are you? This is Dr. Susan Richards, and I'm so happy and excited to be with you. It's For me, the most wonderful thing is um, to be able to share natural healing with you because that's where you are involved in your own healing. And that supports the most important thing of all, which is the healing that comes from God. Nothing can heal us like the Lord. There's nothing that God can't heal. He is amazing. He's perfect. And I've seen thousands and thousands of people be healed from the most impossible things, both as a medical doctor and as an ordained minister. It's really, really special. Usually I talk a lot about disease and illness and how to work with it. But I want to give you some foundational information today about how to best take care of yourself and why. And I want to do a little bit on minerals um, with you right now because people don't realize how important they are. You all know, well, yeah, I should take some calcium because your doctor will say, take calcium and vitamin D, it'll build strong bones. But there's so much more that you, that you actually need. Um, let me talk a little bit about other minerals that are crucial, like magnesium and potassium. And I do want to mention that magnesium and potassium, just like calcium, are also important for strong, dense, heavy bones, which give you good support and allow you to hike and walk and, and you know do a lot of things that require good, strong bones and structure. Um, eat lifting things um, with your upper body, um, biking, as well as your legs. So you need all the bones in your body to be healthy. And you don't just need calcium, which is what we tell you you should have as doctors. You also need a lot of other minerals. Potassium and magnesium are very important minerals for strong, healthy bones. In fact, we've seen in medical research studies, looking at different parts of the body, different bones, that they, they support bones all over the body. So they're really important minerals. Other things we know about uh, magnesium and potassium is that they build strength. I've talked about earlier the importance of creating energy at the level of your cells. You have 37.2 trillion cells. Imagine that God gave you trillions of cells. Can you count that many cells? I've never counted into the trillions myself. Even a million is a lot to count. Imagine counting 37.2 trillion. But that's what you're made up of. That's what God created you to have. And your whole body runs really well when we create a lot of energy within our cells. Um, healthy cells are a lot like having bricks in a house. When you have a strong, healthy house made out of bricks, the bricks are well put together and they're well laid out and they're strong and they don't have crumbles and cracks in them. And our cells are no different. And part of that is the ability at the cellular level to processes called glycolysis and the citric acid cycle, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain to create a lot of energy. The more energy you create, the healthier you stay. It's amazing how that works. So two things that really help you make a lot of energy at the cellular level is having enough potassium and magnesium in your diet either from the foods you eat, particularly um, vegetarian foods, um, leafy green vegetables, beans, grain, whole grains, raw seeds and nuts. They're very good sources of these kinds of minerals. Um, but also, you can take these as supplements too. You can go to your health food store, your local pharmacy. Um, you can go on Amazon and go to or other online sources. And you can take um, in potassium and magnesium as supplements. They're amazingly helpful for your body. They affect your heart health. So when your um, heart um, is healthy, you always have enough of these essential minerals. They're very important. And um, they give you good muscle tone. And some people at night will get muscle cramps and leg cramps, calf cramps. And often that can be due to um, low levels of these essential minerals. Bowel health depends on magnesium and um, it's important for your brain because, uh, especially magnesium, because it helps balance your mood. It helps, gives you, uh, it helps give you mental strength and it helps give you a balanced, healthy mood so you don't tend to get either depressed or anxious. 
So minerals are incredibly important, and especially potassium and magnesium. They've done some amazing research studies in terms of energy, showing that when you take the two in together, they're a very important combination, that again, not only are your bones and muscles and all that good, but you have a lot more strength and energy just to do your tasks. Um, it gives you more ability to um, you know, have a good strong grip, like let's say you're weak in those minerals, you're, you're going to be more weak in your muscles. You won't be able to do a good strong handshake and grip. So they're really important for that reason. You can exercise more, um, you don't get so tired out when you exercise. You have more mental strength, more mental capacity. So these are incredibly helpful and I do want to recommend that you have a good, strong, healthy diet that is strong in these nutrients. You might want to take some supplements if you're not maybe taking enough in your diet. You're going to build um, a healthy body by using these and other nutrients when you exercise. So never underestimate the importance of exercising. It's, it's really essential to deep breathe. Let's all deep breathe right now while we're, while we're together um, doing this, um, this little time of, of sharing. Take some nice deep breaths and remember every day to get out and exercise. Take a walk, go biking, go hiking, go jogging, go swimming, whatever you like to do. Working out in, in the gym is great too. Uh, but exercise is going to support um, taking in essential minerals by then helping you to use them better. So it's great to be with you all. Lots of love from me. God bless you. Lots of love. Dr. Susan Richards.